The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? CLICKWID here, back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team update for you guys. And today, we're going to have the biggest content drop since Christmas this is the day, guys. If you've been waiting to open up packs, this is the day to do it. Ultimate tickets are going to be added into packs today. It sounds like there's going to be 10 on PlayStation and 10 on Xbox. Obviously, we're talking PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Guys, these are probably the best things that there will be in the game. Now, I don't want to go over the top because we don't know for sure exactly what's going to happen, but this does not appear to be an April Fool's joke. It appears that these are going to be added into the game today. Uh, now, historically, this has not been called Ultimate Ticket. It's been called Golden Ticket. And there were also what we refer to as Silver Tickets. Now, we don't know exactly what the promo is going to be yet, but in the past, Golden Tickets, if you guys are unaware, were kind of similar to, I, I guess I don't even know, I, I, I shouldn't say that they're similar to the Willy Wonka movie, because actually it's really not, um, but basically, guys, the, the idea for it was that you got to create your own card. Now, what you had to do was you had to take a card that was currently in the game, so let's say, uh, you know, for example, you really like Mike Vick or something like that, and you can take any Mike Vick that's currently in the game, and you can upgrade it. Now, it doesn't give you unlimited numbers to upgrade to. You are kind of set within a certain parameter so that none of the cards got ridiculously overpowered. Although, I will say in the past, it felt like a lot of the cards were extremely overpowered. But um, in the past, guys, you were able to take any card, even if it was not a 99 overall card, and eventually after you got your golden ticket version of it, it would be an upgraded 99 overall version of that player. So a lot of times people would take players who are already overpowered, uh, you know, like a, like I said, a Mike Vick, or sometimes people would take an out-of-position player, like in the past we had free safety Calvin Johnson, and that was a really common one that people like to upgrade. And basically, again, you would take those cards and you would turn them into high overall 99 overall players at their position these are typically the rarest cards in the game at their position throughout the year definitely the best cards at their position for the vast majority of the year if not the whole year so again guys if this is something that you guys are interested in you get to make your own madden card at least that's how it's been in the past. We don't know necessarily that that's how it's going to be this year, but that's how it's been in the past, and it's been a huge promo for EA. It's definitely been one of my favorite promos as well. So, uh, again, if you guys are interested in this, I would highly recommend that you're opening packs today. And, again, I don't normally recommend opening up packs, but if you're looking for an opportunity to be able to make your own card, this is really the only way to do it. So, again... I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys will get lucky. If any of you guys actually pull a golden ticket, let me know, man. I would love to have you on and, and talk to you about what you're going to do with your golden ticket. So uh, let me know, guys, in the comments section below if you do pull one. Uh, and be serious about it. Don't just troll because I always have people that are like, yeah, I pulled it, blah, blah, blah. And then they really didn't, you trolling mother. Anyway, guys, in addition to ultimate tickets, and again, we don't know what the difference between an ultimate ticket and a golden ticket is. In the past, we've, uh, again, called them golden tickets, and, and this is something that EA has done before. They'll just randomly change the name of a promo, and it really remains the same thing. I assume that that's going to be the case again, but we don't know for sure. But in addition to the golden tickets, or in this case, the ultimate tickets, we also have two new legends that are going to be added into packs today, guys. The first one, Amon Green, a 99 overall halfback. And Amon Green is definitely going to be one of the best halfbacks that we have in this game right now. Again, 99 overall. This card does have some nice chemistries as well. It does have the battle-ready chemistry, which is one of the best ones that you can have for a running back. I would say it's the best chemistry for a running back because basically what it allows you to do is if you get into any of those tackle battles where you have to quick press a button before the other person, this one will allow it to be that you only have to press the X button on a PlayStation or the A button on your Xbox. It always remains the same, so you can pretty much start mashing that button and you'll almost automatically win the tackle battle. 
battle. So I think that's definitely one of the most important chemistries that's in the game right now. But in addition to that, the limited time version of this card has 94 speed, 94 agility as well, which is very, very nice. 97 ball carrier vision, 92 for carrying, which isn't super overpowered, but it's decent enough anyway. I like the 96 acceleration as well. And surprisingly, it has 96 trucking. Now, Mama Green, I, I got to be honest with you guys. I would not expect his trucking to be this high. I would actually expect that Amon Green would have like 96 speed because he was one of the fastest running backs in the league during his era. And it's a little bit surprising that he's down here at a 94 speed. Now, 94 speed isn't terrible, but it's certainly not spectacular. And the fact that he's got 96 trucking is a little bit weird as well because I never looked at him as a guy who, you know, was like a huge trucking player. Now, it's not to say that he couldn't do it. I just didn't think that that was something that he was particularly amazing at. So, a little bit surprising to see the trucking higher than his speed. But he does also have 95 juke move. Now, I will say, guys... I personally think juke move is probably the most overrated thing in this game, but that's just because I'm bad at it. Some of you guys have been telling me that you're really good at juking, and juking does matter, especially if you get over that 92 threshold. So he is over that 92 threshold, so maybe you guys will be able to take advantage of this card. And if he does have good juking, and you're able to make good moves with him, with that agility, and with the speed and trucking com combination, and the battle-ready re chemistry... This could be the best running back in the game currently. So, uh, yeah, again, guys, this is definitely a really nice Ultimate Legend card. The other Ultimate Legend that we're going to be seeing today is, in my opinion, the best cornerback of his era, Champ Bailey. Now, Champ Bailey, again, is also a 99 overall. This is an excellent card. Has the tip drill chemistry, which, in my opinion, is not great. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not anything amazing either. Um... Again, guys, I do like this card. I don't think it's the best in the game, but I definitely think it's good. Does have 95 speed along with 97 acceleration. Very, very, very nice as far as those attributes go. The man coverage and the zone coverage are also crazy on this card. 97 for both of those. I mean, these are like golden ticket like attributes, to be honest with you. So I, I certainly think that this is one of the best cornerbacks in the game right now. He also has great catching, great play recognition, and agility as well. Really, there's nothing that I see on the Champ Bailey that doesn't look good. He should also have decent tackling. Now, we don't see this yet because they're not showing the tackling attribute. But I would expect that he at least has acceptable tackling. I don't think he's going to be like a Deion Sanders where he's just going to have terrible hit power and terrible tackling. He wasn't the best tackler of his era or anything, but he was certainly like at least average. So I don't think he's going to be a detriment in that department. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys will open up packs today. I, I sound like an EA shill shank saying that, but honestly, if this is if you still have packs to open, if you have coins and you want to open up packs, this is the time to do it, man. Get those golden tickets. Get these ultimate legends. These things are beastly. And uh, yeah, build up your coins. And of course, if you get one of those golden tickets or ultimate tickets, you're going to be in making a lot of uh, great money, I guess, if you if you want to sell it or I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could do with the golden tickets, but uh, or you can just, of course, make your favorite player, which is, you know, really the thing that I think most people would want to do with their cards. So with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.